Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. Our colony still has sadly only two colonists, Chanka and Minyaka, and hopefully sometime soon in the next couple of episodes we can finally get a third colonist. I don't think we're going to be able to get much research done until then. Um, so for the time being, we're just surviving. Um, we're going to try to build a pen today and see if we can tame some alpacas and get some wool before the winter to make some parkas. But um, all of that's moot if we don't manage to research complex clothing by the winter time either. So we're going to just see what we can do. We have a new um, field set for hay grass that um, we'll get started on as well. This is looking very filthy in here. Um, I think our colonists have so much stuff to do that they're not finding any time to do hauling or cleaning. So um, we might have to take some stuff off their plate and avoid creating new con big construction or farming jobs for a while to give them some time to do basic tasks like cleaning and hauling. You see all this stuff that needs to get hauled as well? It's just going to deteriorate outside. At least, though, we're getting our kitchen up and running. And um, this sleeping spot can probably be moved into somebody's room. We got a furniture, animal sleeping spot. We can put it right here at the foot of Minyaka's bed. All right, Tronka is working late into the night. It's, uh, yeah, it's 10 o'clock. Farming right until 10 o'clock. I respect his commitment to the colony. Started to plant some hay, that's perfect. Now if we go to wildlife, uh, we can go to alpacas and um, we can try to find some alpacas that are um, one male and one female is really all we need to begin with. They don't produce milk, so having males versus females doesn't really matter. We really just want them for their wool and perhaps slaughter them for some meat as well. Um, so let's take one female. Um, three years and 17 days, that looks good. So we're going to go ahead and tame this alpaca. Oh, um, maybe I shouldn't give the order to tame it yet because we don't have a fence built yet. We're going to wait for the barn to be built, then we'll build the fence, and then we'll tame them. How's the training going on our dog? Train to attack, one of two. All right, so we've almost locked in this skill. That'll be useful for raids. We can send in our dog as melee to support um, our colonists. Speaking of raids, we have another one from the Cancer Gang. All right, Cancer Gang, what's up? You're sending one guy with a knife at us. Well, that's not going to be too challenging. What does this guy look like? Okay, he's a baseliner. Good. His traits, he's ugly. So people won't like him necessarily that much. And he's nervous. So he's going to have more mental breaks. Not great traits already. For some reason, he's incapable of dumb labor, social and artistic. So does he have anything to make up for all of this bad traits and bad restrictions. He's a decent shot. That can't be overlooked. He's a decent shot. Decent animal skill. Decent intellectual skill. He could be maybe like a cook and a researcher. That would be a good use of this guy. Cook and research. We'll, we'll, we'll recruit him if we don't kill him outright. We're going to go ahead and uh, let him prepare for the raid. We're not going to prepare too much in excess in advance because um, we have work to do. Once we get the notification that the raid is beginning, then we'll go ahead and recruit our colonists and get ready to down him. We have our prison all set up. It should be clean. Um... And let's actually get Tronka to prioritize harvesting some heel root um, because we are going to need that for our own colonists and potentially for the prisoner as well. Uh, 
Alright, Tronka. So I need you to haul herbal medicine. Haul herbal medicine. Haul herbal medicine. And there should be one more. Where was the other one that we just harvested? For the life of me, I don't know. Tronka is insisting on doing this one at a time. All right. So Engel is coming for us. So it is time to recruit our colonists and get ready for this assault. Um, let's go ahead and recruit Tronka as well. We don't need to hide behind cover because this guy's only coming at us with melee. So we're gonna go ahead and wait and just shoot him with our short bow. Can we give this dog the order to attack? Animals attack. All right, how are we doing? Death in nine hours? Death in eight hours for our dog. Poor dog. All right, Manyaka, I need you to go finish hauling this herbal medicine. Tronka, I need you to capture Engel. Is he in immediate danger? Yes, he's gonna die in five hours, so we're going to attend to him immediately. I think he'll be a valuable addition to our team. Did our dog suffer any serious injuries? Eight hours. No. No permanent injuries. We'll tend to our dog later. Um, who is our better doctor? I think they both suck. But Manyaka is like very slightly better. Um, okay, Manyaka, I need you to prioritize tending to Engel. Tronka, I need you to prioritize tending to Goliath. You can tend to Goliath without medicine. We don't want to waste our medicine on an animal at this point in the game. Angle is an unwavering prisoner. Uh, we can't recruit him. I can see why there's someone is unwaveringly loyal by selecting them. Where does it say unwaveringly loyal? Is this it? This is it. Okay, so Manyaka, quit tending to him. He doesn't deserve our medicine. We are actually going to execute him for raiding us. Yeah, we're not wasting our medicine on that guy. Shame. We actually could have used him. I think a cook and researcher would have been a great addition to the team. Oh well. Um, because our religion, our ideology approves of execution of guilty prisoners, that gave us a development point. Once we get to 10, we can reform our religion by adding new memes and changing certain tenets and stuff. Um, Tronka, I'm going to go ahead and unrecruit him. Let him do whatever he needs. Looks like he's gonna enjoy a beer. And continue to sow hay grass. I think the reason why this construction is going so slowly is because we are short on wood. So once we get this uh, field of hay grass all sorted, we need to double down on our orders to chop wood. Chop. Yes, okay. We'll give Tronka a lot of work to do. New lovers, Tronka and Minyaka. Wow. Tronka wooed Minyaka by telling a tale about wearing raincoats. Minyaka became aroused <laughs> about wearing raincoats. Wow, okay, interesting. Okay, they want to uh, share a room together. So why don't we go ahead Let's build a wall here and let's knock down these walls and we will go ahead and make a double bed for them. 
Um, right, we don't have furniture yet. We can't make a double bed. We could make a double bed roll, but we don't have enough cloth. So we'll have to do with a double sleeping spot, and I'll have to just be okay with that. All right. Fantastic. Minyaka will get on that in the morning. See what Minyaka is spending most of her time doing. I know she's in charge of pretty much everything besides like things related to food. I think Tronk is the food guy, growing food, handling the. No, 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 Minyak is handling the animals. Tronka just grows the food, cooks the food, hunts the food. Um, so Minyakas should be doing other things. What is dark study? Interact with anomalous entities. Oh, that's this. We don't want either of them doing dark study right now. Where was that, um, that giant pit? We found a pit, didn't we? I don't know. We will find it. We're definitely not at the, play, the place or the time in our playthrough to be dealing with anything like that, though. Um, two tribal, unarmored, very poorly equipped colonists is not going to cut it. Okay, so hopefully today, Tronka will finish this growing zone and start cutting down some more wood for us so we can get on this farming business. Um, we're going to need some wood floors here too. There is a mad rat. Where is this mad rat? All right, Tronka, go attack the mad rat. Manyaka, you go attack the mad rat too. Melee attack the rat, Tronka. You should be able to take out a rat. There we go. All right, what did the rat do? What's the damage? Some scratches. Um, this is new. Our colonists have developed a smoke leaf and alcohol tolerance. A built-up tolerance, the more severe the tolerance is, the, the more alcohol it takes to get the same effect. Alright, that doesn't concern us too much at the time being. Do we have a butcher spot anymore? Oh, we have a butchering table outside, of course. We need to uninstall this bedroll. So that's P. And we need to put down a new double sleeping spot. Disturbing vision. Chanka had a strange dream. In it, he saw a black shape unfurling in space and time, growing and consuming. The shape originated from a nearby crumbled monolith. Upon waking from the vision, Tronka feels strangely drawn to the monolith. It calls to him. Ah, here's the monolith that we were looking for. Okay, so I think until we investigate it, our colonists are going to get disturbing dreams and whatnot about, about it. There's, like I said, I don't think there's anything we can do. Does it give him any kind of mood penalty? I don't think it does, so we don't really need to worry about it then. Let's go ahead and go to furniture, double sleeping spot. There we go. Manyak is finally getting around to cleaning, which is good. Tronka, I'm sorry to say, bed rest is not a priority. I need you working. There you go. Butcher the rat. Sow the rice fields. Or no, harvest the rice fields. We'll sow it after we're done harvesting. Manyaka will help with hauling the rice. And look how refreshingly clean this all looks now. Um, our new campfire needs to have the same bills as before. Um, cook simple meals until we have 10. Uh, we need to go ahead and deconstruct this campfire. 
and we can add this cook simple meal do until you have X and we're going to say 10 perfect the steel knife um, it's poor and it's at 18% let's just leave it not allowed and it'll decay in a few days at 18% it's decaying three per day so that's what six days yeah All right, perfect. Chanka's back to work. How's Chanka healing up? Not too bad. Pain is only little. Moving and manipulation are barely affected. Okay, this field should be mostly completed now. So hopefully Chanka should be able to get on harvesting some wood. Ah, we have rice to harvest as well though. Once we have extra wood and, it's, and extra time as well, we're going to go ahead and build our um, supply room right here. I think a big square supply room might be good. Um, one other thing I wanted to say is I noticed my buildings have been very square and I kind of want to try to avoid that. Um, I'm not exactly super creative person um, and design is not one of my strong suits, but um, I feel like every time I play this game, I just end up with a bunch of rectangles. Um, and so I really want to avoid that. One thing I also want to try is keep separate buildings, right? Have like a house with maybe like a prison attached on the side. And um, we're having a barn as a separate building and we're having, you know, the dining room and the pantry and the kitchen all attached because that makes sense to be in one building. But I want to have separate buildings and I want to have shapes that are more interesting than rectangles. For the throne room, for example, I think it might be cool to have a more kind of like rounded shape towards like the front and the back. So we might change this um, as we start to flesh out our throne room. All right, we need to build wooden floors in here as well because we get a penalty for cooking in a dirty room, which this is because it has literally dirt as the floor. All right. Oh, too bad. I just noticed this turkey here, um, but it's it's rotten, so we don't want to haul it and butcher it. That'll make us sick. Um, any more heal root we can harvest? We should go ahead and give that order. Berries, free food. We can never say no to that. Winter is going to be rough, I can tell. We're not going to have a ton of extra food stored, so we're going to have to rely on a lot of hunting, I think. I need to destroy this sleeping spot and set this owner to Tronka as well. Minyaka and Tronka can start sleeping together. Inspired trade Minyaka. Okay, so if anyone comes to trade, we'll have Minyaka handle and negotiate for us. Okay, our barn is almost complete. We're just waiting for the bird skin we need. Looks like we don't have enough bird skin, so we need to hunt a turkey. Or two. That'll get us the bird skin we need to finish this flap. Um, otherwise, we are doing pretty good. What's Chanka up to? Chanka is cooking. That's an alright use of your time. We don't want to run out of meals. I'm going to go ahead and go into structure. And we'll go to fence, and we want to build wooden fences, I think. Goliath has a flu. Health. Allow medicine, flu. Okay. Um, we're use, we're going to use herbal medicine. We don't want our dog to die of the flu. <clears throat> Alright. Immunity will hopefully catch up with the flu. Looks like they're keeping about the same pace. So at least one is not getting significantly ahead of the other. And Minyaka is actually getting some research done. This is exactly what we need. We need complex clothing by winter time so we can build some parkas. Okay, I think Tronka just hunted a turkey. Or maybe not. Maybe Tronka failed at hunting a turkey.
Do we have the bird skin we need yet? We do not. What happened to the other turkey Chanka was supposed to be hunting? Oh, it's right here. Um, let's actually cancel this order to hunt the other turkey. I think one turkey is going to be enough to get the 25 bird skin to make this animal flap. Because I want Chanka to start chopping wood. We are really hurting for wood. Chanka, stop relaxing socially. I need you to prioritize butchering. So Minyaka can get building. There you go, Minyaka. Perfect. Now, we should have only two more meals. And once we got those two more meals, perfect. We should be able to start harvesting. Or sowing, I should say. Great. Chop some wood. All right, Chanka, what you up to? More cooking? Okay, with all this wood that's coming in, we should be able to build a wooden fence. And I say we feature-proof this. We don't need it to be huge right now, but I'd like to make it a decent size because eventually we're going to have a lot of animals. Um, I think animals are a great source of food when you get animals that produce meat and milk, like cows. I think muffaloes are also good for meat and milk. I think there was one other, dromedaries, but we don't, we're not in the desert, so we won't get any of those. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and chop down all the trees because we want to maximize open grazing space in this pen for our animals. They don't need shade. If they want shade, they have the barn. Um, we should go ahead and clear out these as well, but I don't want to, I don't want to crowd up our stumping stockpile zone too much. That's a lot of stones. Maybe we'll just leave them there for the time being. All right. Are they getting a nice mood bonus from sharing a bed with their lover? Slightly impressive dining room. That's nice. Recreation satisfied, opinion of my lover. Great. Got some loving. Perfect. I'm glad this room is um, impressive. If I go, I think T is the beauty display or G. G gives us stats. Slightly impressive, wealth is mediocre, space is very spacious, beauty is neutral, cleanliness is clean. Okay, it's actually, it's actually not bad. All right, we are just about done with our, um, our pasture. We just need to put in a fence gate. I think we'll put in the fence gate right here. And if we go to wildlife, we need to start taming these alpacas. So we're going to go and find like the three-year-old alpaca and we need a male as well. So let's look, we have a 10-year-old, a one-year-old, an eight-year-old. I get the one-year-old alpaca. Still young and hopefully fertile. All right. We actually have a lot going on here. Inspired, okay, the flu, we already checked that out. How is the flu coming along, by the way? Immunity is slightly above the flu. Okay, we're cutting it close. Hopefully, though, we'll get on top of this. And we have a new quest, Paid Forced Weather. A machine persona in an orbiting ship wants to perform some planetary experiments. However, if she carries out the experiment, a weather control system will force the weather around Oswar to be fogged for 14 days. Um, she's concerned about getting in trouble with the ethical review board, so she's asking for consent. Well, thank you so much for asking for consent. We appreciate it. We could get an interesting book. This gives us research. And... But we have a chance of mental break. I don't like that. We can get hyperweave. We don't need that at this point. Or we could unlock researching jump packs. Okay, I don't like any of these rewards, so it's not worth it. I know we could probably just sell them for money if we don't like the rewards, but 
I'd still, um, I'd still rather not have fog for the next eight days. I don't think our plants are going to grow quickly in fog. Minyaka successfully tamed our first alpaca. Fantastic. So until um, we get the hay grass, the alpaca should be good to graze. I think we created a big enough pen that there's plenty of um, room for them to graze. Borders, chop wood. Let's chop down all these stumps as well. There we go. All right, and of course, Minyaka is a, oh no, it's Tranka who's our cook. Tranka is a bad cook. So we're all getting food poisoning, but there's only one way for Tronka to learn and that's by doing. <coughs> we have plenty of wood for the time being, so we can actually probably put Tronka to use doing some hunting. We can hunt some more turkeys, we can hunt Ibex does, we can hunt does and bucks. These will get us plain leather, which we can use to build bed rolls. Um, I'm not going to waste our time on small animals like raccoons and guinea pigs just because they don't provide that much meat. All right. So Tronka will hopefully have breakfast and get hunting. Oh no, Tronka is tending to our poor dog. All right. This dog, if it beats the flu, it'll be just rarely. And actually, we're not cooking up our meat fast enough. So what I like to do with my campfire is add a separate bill that says cook simple meal forever, but then we are only going to use animal products and meat because they spoil quickly. Um, so milk and meat will get used right to make as many simple meals as we need. Because it's better to have that sitting in our stockpile as um, meals than to have it um, to have it sitting in our stockpile as raw food. Because I think the meals last a little bit longer, and that way we can prioritize keeping our rice for the winter. I have a largely meat-based diet right now. There's an ancient danger near Tranka. Okay, interesting. Right here is we have an ancient danger. It looks like we also have some like closed off buildings here and here to check out. I think this is an ancient danger as well. We have a lot of stuff on this map to be wary of and we have that obelisk or monolith right here. Okay. We want to be careful. Where is our alpaca? Oh, I need to include a pen marker. So if I go here, I need to put a pen marker to allow alpacas here. So Manyaka, can you actually prioritize building this? Okay, so we can start escorting our alpaca into the pen. Is this it? Perfect. All right, let's see what we can get its wool growth up to. Let's see, social, training, needs, health. Where does it say, oh, wool growth right here, 14%, perfect. Once that gets to 100, um, we should be able to harvest this wool and I think it only takes like a couple of alpaca wool shearings to get enough wool for like a parka. The research is going to be the difficult thing. We still have 37 out, only have 37 out of 900 research need to go. Quest active, ship to the stars. A friendly AI from your past named Charles Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on the planet and sends you its coordinates. It's in hibernation mode. We'll have to start it up when we arrive and defend it from raiders. Okay. Um, we'll keep this quest, but I don't think we're going to do that. I think it might be fun to actually build a starship and go out to space. I've never done it before. I've started a lot of remote playthroughs, but inevitably they usually end in disaster. I don't think I've ever actually made it off the planet. A lot of rage crits. 
you lose like a lot of important colonists and you just don't want to keep playing anymore. You want to start over. We're going to do it right this time though. I'm making sure that we're growing very slowly. I don't normally grow this slowly. Um, not that we've had much of an option, but we're not going to recruit just anyone into the colony. We're going to make sure we actually have a need for them. Um, we should be taming some other alpacas as well. Manyatka should be hopefully on it. Okay. I think we have some spare time, so we're going to go ahead and start building our supply cupboard. Now that we have our pantry, dining room, and kitchen sorted out. We have our growing area right here. I think we're going to have houses up here. We have our pasture here. The pasture is not as close. <gasps> no! Goliath! I'm so sad. Okay. Um, we're going to not allow this body. I don't want them to like take it and butcher it or something. We need to create a grave. I don't know where that is. Is that a misc? Do we have any stone that we could use for this? How much stone does it cost to make a grave? Oh, a grave doesn't cost anything. I was looking at a pen marker. Um, why don't we build a, gra a grave site, a graveyard? We can always move the graves later. It's gonna be kind of not not fun business, but I think it might be nice to have a little graveyard behind here. Um, behind our throne room and our kitchen. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bury our dog right here. All right, Minyaka, go ahead and build that grave. Or wait till the morning. Just go to sleep casually and, oh my gosh. They're doing they're doing unspeakable things in front of a dead dog. Oof. Weirdos. Okay. Going to sleep and we will wait for the following morning. Again? Guys, there's a dead dog here. Show some respect. Nyaka and Tranka. I have lost some pretty big respect for them. Right, before their dog died, we were actually looking into building our supply closet. Um, I think we'll go ahead and this is as good a place as any. Go ahead and build it. I know this is just a big square and I said I wanted to avoid building squares, but I think for a supply room, I mean square is really all it's gonna be. Um, we need to have a door in here as well. Um, why don't we include the door right here on the side? And we can kind of, um, once we unlock shelves, that'll make the supply room a lot more organized. Let's actually also build um, another bedroom for another colonist, just in preparation for another colonist. Um, we'll go ahead and have a single room right here. I think a double room, this is a fine size, and a single room can be this size. Do we have enough leather for a bedroll? I think a double bedroll. It's gonna cost us 85 cloth or leather. Okay, we're close. We have 53 plain leather, 27 light leather. I think we have to do some more hunting. What happened to all those creatures we hunted and butchered? And we're not getting leather from them? Or we're either probably just getting very little leather. All right, well, we'll have to continue doing some more hunting. All right, we have a supply room. We should go ahead and Put wood floors down. We will start building everything with stone once we unlock stone cutting, but if you guys look with the tribal start, you actually don't start with stone cutting technology, so you have to build everything out of wood. 
that's fine. We are going to go ahead and create a stockpile zone in here. And we are going to have everything allowed in the stockpile zone except for what we have in this stockpile zone. So here, priority normal. Let's actually have everything. And here we're going to have priority preferred and we're going to take out everything that's not food. We don't want corpses in there either, but animal corpses are fine as long as they're fresh. Here, let's, um, it's priority normal, so we can allow animal corpses here too. Just in case they're rotting, we can move them outside. This is priority normal, so they'll still prioritize putting fresh animal corpses inside where they will spoil a little slower. All right, this is now, hopefully once we get everything hauled over, it's just gonna be a specialized pantry. We can build some uh, shelves in our pantry as well once we unlock furniture. That can help us store a ton of food in here. All right, way to go, Manyaka. I hear Tronka doing some hunting. Way to go, Tronka. How's your shooting skill coming along? Shooting level seven. Not bad, not bad at all. Melee level eight, perfect. Tronk is actually a pretty capable warrior. Manyaka, not far behind. All right, somebody needs to go bury the dog. Manyaka, I am tired of watching you guys do this in front of that poor dog. Bury Goliath. No! Assign colonist? Can you not assign pets into graves? Say it ain't so. You can build a grave. You can build nature shrines. Honing spiritual being. Tribal sidecasters can focus on the shrine while meditating to increase their side focus gain. They'll lose their focus if they close artificial structures. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. That's not an animal grave. All right. Well, apparently we can't bury Goliath in here. I think that's criminal, but okay. It is what it is. There's an eclipse. And we have a quest. Desperate refugee named Blair is approaching. Blair comes to work from, uh, clip, ugh. Blair claims to be woken up from crypto sleep, all alone and friendless. Blair begs for you, your permission to stay at Aswar for five days so he can rest, she can rest and recoup. Um, in return, she offers to work and fight for free during that time. If you make her happy, she may offer to join you. She may also reward you later for helping her, but there's no way to know her true intentions. All right, let's accept it. We can host her for five days. That's not a very long time. We can check out her stats too. Okay, she's 51, so she doesn't fit with our kind of like age range. We're all like young women. She's kind of middle-aged. Um, but let's see what her her stats are. We could uh, we could make her use a seasoned 51-year-old in our colony. If she tries to leave and we like her too much, we might kidnap her. Just saying. She can do some pretty good researching. She's not bad at animals. She's a pretty good doctor. She's an okay shot. She's an okay cook. I think we could have this as our cook and researcher. Um, she's not bad shot. Yeah, and she can also probably do most of our uh, animal handling as well. I think that's probably a pretty good use for her. Hopefully we can keep her. Well, welcome to the colony, Blair. I'm gonna have you on handling. Minyaka can do handling as well. Um, we'll have you both handle it. Um, though I do want you on cooking. Tronka just sucks. You can do hunting as well. Um, you should do researching. We don't need to do dark study. And we're gonna have you not do hauling and cleaning. If you're not, if you're not busy with other work, you should be researching. Fantastic. Actually, she's so good at doctoring that she should be our go-to doctor. Maybe if she was the doctor, our dog wouldn't have died. 
Hey, we successfully tamed both of our alpacas. Fantastic. We'll have some wool in no time. Alright, Blair's already getting on the cooking. Fantastic. Minyaka should prioritize making this room, but I don't think there's any way to get her to prioritize building these walls without having her do it one by one. There you go, Minyaka. Because we need a room to house poor Blair in. We need to keep her happy so she'll consider joining our colony. Alright. Um, what's her social skill like? Terrible. Okay. I was gonna say, we could also use someone with a decent social skill for recruitment purposes, but she's not gonna be that person. That's fine. You can't expect her to do everything. I'm going to put a sleeping spot down for her here. And we're going to set owner Blair. Perfect. Minyaka and Tronka, you guys have made a mess in here. You guys need to start cleaning up after yourselves. I guess we gave Minyaka a lot of construction jobs, which is why certain things are getting... Uh, Overlooked, such as cleaning. Inspired taming? Tronka has inspired taming. Betrayal? Blair, who has to stay with you, is turning against you. It seems she has had this treachery planned all along. What on earth? We were kind. We showed you hospitality, and this is how you repay us? It's okay. She only has a steel knife. There you go. Take that, Blair. Minyaka. There you go. Knifer. Tronka, I need you to melee attack Blair. I'm going to melee her to death. No! I didn't really mean it when I said to death. We wanted to recruit her. Oh well. It is what it is. Today will not be the day we get another colonist. Just when we think things are looking up. We're never going to get a third colonist at this rate. Raining, raining, raining. Uh, we're almost ready for our first harvest of hay grass. There's a mad tortoise. We need to attend to this mad tortoise first. Minyaka, I hope you don't have any serious injuries. Ah, oh, she cut off Minyaka's right toe. Okay, we need to assign them back on doctoring. Tronka, you need to doctor Minyaka. Um, cooking can go back to Tronka. And uh, Tronka, please attend to your girlfriend. Clean the bedroom, then tend to Minyaka. Shame. I had high hopes. I had high hopes for Blair. Tronka rejected proposed marriage to Minyaka. <laughs> Minyaka rejected the proposal. Are you kidding me, Tronka? You're proposing to her as you're tending her in injuries? That's not the time for a proposal. However romantic you think that is, she probably is just like miserable. Not smooth, Tronka. Not smooth at all. <laughs> proposing to her as she's laying in bed, like covered in blood. 
That's really sad. At least there's still a couple. There's a caravan approaching. I think Tronka has inspired... No, not inspired trading, inspired taming. No time to waste, though. How are you doing? Are you able to handle yourself in a fight? We should use the caravan to our advantage. Okay, there are cannibals. No, they're not cannibals. I saw Kamba and I thought cannibals. It's just a group of tribes people coming to raid us. They've got one person equipped with a short bow. All right. Well, hopefully this caravan will protect us. We're counting on it. All right, Minyaka, go ahead and do some trading. See what these guys have to sell. See what we have to sell. All right. Let's see what we can get here. We're not going to sell our livestock. We're not going to sell any of our food. We could potentially sell some things like bird skin, light leather that we don't want so much of. Wolf skin we'll hold on to. Maybe we can make something cool with wolf skin. All right, and what do these guys have to sell? What can we buy from them? Formal shirt, headdresses. I'm looking for parkas. That's really what I'm looking for. Light leather bedroll. We'll hold on to that. We could take steel from them. We could take a donkey from them. Donkeys might be useful to have. Maybe we just hold on to the silver. We only have 40. Wait till we see something we actually really want to buy. So we don't need any of this stuff right now. Yeah, we don't. Okay, we're just gonna take the 68 gold. Did I call this gold? 68 silver. I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate recently. That's why I'm thinking gold as the currency. All right, Tronka. They're coming to attack. Let's use the caravan. We're hiding behind the caravan. Perfect. Couldn't have gone better. Thank you, caravan, for dealing with our raider problem. Shortbow poor. We don't need to take that. Though, um... This person might have been worth recruiting. But is now very dead. Fall has begun. All right, looks like we're gonna get off one harvest of hay grass before fall uh, ends and winter begins. Um, and we should be able to get off maybe two harvests of rice, hopefully. Tronka just needs to get onto um, sowing the rice already. How's Minyaka healing up? Fantastic. She just has a cut, a bruise on her right leg that's healing pretty quickly and a cut on her head that's healing a little more slowly. All right, not too bad. We need to haul these out of here. All right. A new quest. Orange, animal chief of Pact of Born, has informed us of a collection of valuable items worth $650, not far from us. As in a psychic insanity lance. I don't think we want to leave our colony unattended. We don't have anyone to leave behind and watch the colony. There's only two of us here. We're going to let that quest go. Ooh, I think yaks produce milk. Why don't we, um... Why don't we tame like a female yak? Get some milk. How old is she? 15 years old, that's pretty old. If we tame a, an adult, we could make a baby too. Harvest them for some meat. Hopefully we'll have enough um, hay to get us through the winter with all these animals. Wow, Minyaka, you didn't waste any time. Our agriculture empire is beginning. All right, guys, I think this is a great time to end the episode. We've accomplished a lot today. 
We have our animal pen up and going. We are starting slowly but surely to research complex clothing so we can build some parkas in the winter. Um, we have a new supply stockpile zone. We have our food stockpile zone, which just needs to get sorted out um, as our colonists haul non-food items away from there. And things are going really well. I know I keep saying this, but hopefully in the next episode we can actually get a third colonist. I think it is far past time for a third colonist. Two is really not cutting it. We're, we have a lot of jobs that just aren't getting done, such as cleaning, looking at this building over here in particular that really badly needs to be cleaned. Their bedroom too. Um, so we really need a third colonist to start picking up some of the slack. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.